Uh, hey guys. Uh, I just um, built this little circuit here. It's a little. I'll show you. There we go. Look, we've got a little five 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 timer. Um, turn that. And so it goes down. It's just made a little uh, little dim switch from the LED. Well, the part I'm curious about is, as you can see up here, if I turn that's on, that's on full, of course, as you'd expect, as I turn it down, you get more and more of the negative. But, uh, this is the interesting thing, I turn it on full, and then, if you can see, oh, if you can see that, it says 9 millivolts. Now remember that's on full, so the LED is on full. If I start turning it down, and it's 32 millivolts to have it dimmed. I'm not sure if... Uh, I'm not sure exactly why that happens. Um, I was just wondering, um, but such a simple little circuit. No, it's just one I got off the internet. I can show you it. Uh, just bear with me a second. Let me get the. Here's the um, here's the circuit. Just another one of those um, quick little circuits to build again. And I've got some of these in the post today, which is making my life, especially if I don't just tip them out everywhere, it's making my life a lot easier um, for building things on these socket boards. So hopefully, I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of little circuits like this. It does have a practical value, I suppose, because it's a uh, it's an LED dimmer. I suppose I could put some uh, some different colour LEDs in, or or I'm going to figure out why because it's higher resistance, it draws more current. I'm not sure. No, no. So that's pulse width modulation LED dimmer.